and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be diving into my makeup travel bag. I did a video where I, sh you okay? Say hi. I mentioned that when I did my travel toiletry bag, I would be filming my travel makeup bag. And by the time you're watching this, I will actually already be in LA, which is where I'm traveling to for a week. So I wanted to show you guys my essentials and my packing and what I bring with me. Um, some of these are actually really new products that you actually saw in my try on haul because I did discover some gems in that video. So go ahead and watch that if you haven't already, I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to take you to my living room so that you don't have to see me like pulling things out because I'm going to show you how I pack everything and that way you can just kind of have like a direct look. So first, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I post Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time, um, typically, typically, unless otherwise noted on my social medias, which I also include in the beginning of every video. Everything that I mentioned today will be listed down below in the description box, so don't forget to check that out as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into Alrighty, it. Alrighty, so here we are with my makeup bag and my brush bag. So I actually pack these two things in two separate um, containers just because my brushes won't fit in this bag. So let's just start with the exciting part, the fun makeup bag. This is actually a bag I got for Christmas years ago from my parents. This is by Kate Spade. Rest in peace. I love her so much. She had some of the best pieces. I have a ton of her bags. Um, I thought she was so cute and this bag is adorable obviously. So we open it here and there are two zipper pouches as well as kind of like one big giant container with a divider in the middle. This is where I put kind of like my compacts and this is where I store like my tube foundations, things like that. And then in here we have liners and lip products and mascara. So let's go ahead and just dive into the beginning part. So in this side, I keep my compacts. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. It's just full of a bunch of neutral, wearable, warm shades that I can get a really nice everyday look or something a little bit more smoky because you do have these darker shades and these foiled colors, which is super exciting. And it also comes with a little brush, which is so cute. And I know I mentioned in my affordable video that I typically bring my Morphe Little Palette, but this I just feel like has everything and more in it. And it's really like sleek and fits perfectly in this style of bag. So I bring this. And then the other eyeshadow palette I'm bringing is this Wet n Wild um, Not A Basic Peach Palette. It's really sleek, simple. I just did a tutorial with this, if you guys saw it, which was like my Sunrise Glitter tutorial. You get a bunch of different neutral shades, but also pops of colors. And you know, this bright blue and this duochrome and things like that aren't in the Soft Glam Palette. So I figured it's small enough to just bring with me as well and also very easy to travel with. So. As you can see here, I have kind of like my powders, my bronzers, my blushes, and then my highlights. So let's just dig into under here. I bring this Tarte um, Skin Twinkle Palette. This is the original Volume 1 palette. I love this palette so much. These shades are so beyond creamy, and then you get like a matte like highlighting shade in the middle. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it right there. It's just so beautiful and so buildable that I think it's perfect to travel with because you do get a variety of shades and it's something that you can build up to be very intense, but it can start off as something really nice and everyday, so I love that. And then the other highlighter I'm taking with me that I just actually discovered in my try on haul is this JCAT Triple Baked Crown Shadow. And it is an eyeshadow, but you get the most beautiful all over, like look how intense that is right there this one right here. You can see it's super intense. You can use it as an eyeshadow, but it's small enough to travel um, as a highlight as well. So I'm gonna bring this as a more like intense option, which I'm super excited about. I'm bringing two blushes that I think are super easy to travel with. The first one is this Tarte, literally travel size blush in the shade party it's this really beautiful neutral pink that i feel like would just go with everything and it's so small and this formula is, excuse me and this formula is amazing because it literally lasts all day so yes gotta bring that and then the other blush i'm bringing is this bare minerals gen nude blush that i actually just mentioned and discovered in my try on haul looks like this it's more of like a peachy corally blush so it'll flatter like warmer tone eyeshadow looks and stuff like that so i wanted to bring kind of like a more neutral option and a more warm 
option as well. Then moving on to bronzers, I am bringing two. I have this really cute like small Too Faced like chocolate bar mini palette that has like a chocolate soleil bronzer and a couple eyeshadows, but I figured since I'm already bringing a whole eyeshadow palette, I don't want to bring like that as well. So I am bringing this new Anastasia Beverly Hills, again, discovered in my try on haul. This is just so easy to travel with. It has a really nice mirror. The compact is really like sleek and sturdy. And this is a beautiful matte bronzer shade. You can see me apply it for the first time in my try on haul. I'll link that down below. Um, it's so smooth and creamy, I love it. And then I'm also bringing the Ciate London Bamboo Bronzer. Oh, by the way, this is the shade Saddle. And this is the Ciate London Bamboo Bronzer in the shade South Beach. It's the darker of the two. And I'm bringing this one as well because it has golden glitter like all throughout the pan. So it does apply like a more glowy satin finish as opposed to like a matte bronzer. So, you know, it's a summer, I wanna have both. And then in terms of powders, I am bringing two. Actually, if you guys have seen in my What's In My Bag video, I also have my Cover FX pressed powder that I travel with me all the time, like on a daily basis in my purse. So that I'm gonna have, but in terms of like my makeup bag, I'm bringing two powders. I'm bringing the Too Faced Peach Perfect Loose Setting Powder, and I know you guys might think this is pretty like large and in charge and kind of bulky for traveling, but it fits perfectly like right in here, which is why I love this makeup bag. And this is a necessity for me to travel with because it's a powder that it's super neutral, it's very creamy, but it's very mattifying and very long wearing. And for hot, long summer days, it's exactly what I need. And it smells like peaches, it's a plus. And right? then I also am bringing this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I just tried this out also in my try on haul. I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet, but it is that smooth under eye powder that I really want to get to know and use um, because you know I just love brightening my under eyes and stuff every day or every time I put on makeup. And then on top of all of those things, I have my eyelash curler. This is an essential for me. This one is by Tarte. It's my favorite one ever. It never pulls on your lashes. And I never, ever, 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 ever do my makeup without curling my lashes. And you guys can watch me put back like all these products. You can see that I like storing it super, um, you know, kind of like compact. I think everything just fits really well with one another. Moving on to this pouch. Sorry, you're gonna see my knee in the way because I am sitting on the floor. I have this little container that comes out of this pouch. It looks like this, and this is perfect, I find, for storing foundations and things like that. So when you open it, you'll see all of my products here. So I'm gonna go through them one by one. Um, this Again, this is where I store my setting spray, primer, concealers, and liquid foundation. So I am going to be taking two primers with me, and I know this might seem excessive to some of you, but whatever. This is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. I love this, it smells so good, keeps your makeup on all day. It's cooling and it's matte, and I like it because it's not that typical like pore filming primer, like it's a tacky primer, so I like that. But I'm also taking this Smashbox Iconic Photo Finish Primer Stick. This is a true silicone pore filler so if I'm going out at night and I want my makeup to look extra flawless and smooth I will put this on my porous areas and I like it because it is a stick so it is really easy to travel with and then I am taking this might see, this is actually really excessive I'm taking three foundations but they all fit so you know what it's fine um, I'm taking three foundations uh, as you can tell I like to travel with squeezy tubes slash um, you know like stick foundations just because it's easier I'm not bringing any of my glass bottle pumps just because because I feel like it's a little bit more risky. Let's start with this one. This is a Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This has SPF 15. I wanted to bring this because it does have SPF in it. This is the only foundation I'm bringing that does have SPF, and I like to have that option, and it is a squeezy tube, so yes. I'm also bringing the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. This is my favorite foundation of all time. As you guys know, it's so good. Comes with a little pump, it's photo friendly, and just a beautiful satin finish. Like truly, like perfect for any occasion. And then last but not least, I am bringing this Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This is the shade Golden. By the way, this is the shade Medium Neutral, and this is the shade Sand. Um, this is just a twist up foundation. Because I do have oily skin, it will break down on me if I wear it throughout the day. Day, but I figured I would bring this because the packaging is super convenient and if I do like a fancy dinner or go out at night and only need my makeup to last for a short period of time but I still want it to look extra flawless this will come in handy and then for concealers I'm also bringing three I'm bringing um, 
literally these three. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. This is a thick under eye concealer, but I'm bringing it because it does have full coverage and it is a travel size, so I figured it fit perfectly. And then I'm also bringing the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 18. This is super creamy, full coverage, great for just, you know, under the eyes, and yeah, it's amazing it's honestly one of my favorites ever and then i'm also bringing my favorite spot concealer ever the wet n wild photo focus concealer in the shade medium tawny looks like this it's just great i mean this has become my favorite spot concealer of all time so yes and then the last thing in this pouch is this setting spray probably my smallest setting spray that i own but it's perfect because it's the perfect size and it fits in here and it um, has a really great formula because it is long lasting so I feel like it's the most versatile. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. It's 16 hour wear time. Um, the spray is really, really great and it's one fluid ounce. So, oh no, sorry, it's two fluid ounces. So it just fits perfectly in my little pouchy. Okay, and then now the main compartments are tackled, let's go into this area right here. These, This is where I keep my lip products and my lashes. I'm going to be taking two pairs of lashes with me just in case, you know, we I go out and stuff like that. This is um, the Eiffel Lash uh, Human Hair Lashes in the style 213. I'm bringing these because they're super natural, and I'm planning on wearing this style to my aunt's family barbecue at a ranch in Santa Barbara, um, which I'm really, really excited. So yes, I wanted to bring a more natural alternative. And then my more extra alternative is this Ardell Mega Volume Lashes in the style 250. I like these because they have like that multi-angle technology, and um, they're really dramatic, so they would be fun for like a night out. And then I am bringing a plethora of lip products, as you can tell right here. But you know, I just like different lips for different occasions. Bringing this Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquefied Lipstick because it is a really, really great creamy nude for a lot of different occasions. And it is a really pretty cute little travel size squeezy tube, so yes. I'm also bringing this Marc Jacobs lipstick in the shade Slow Burn. It's this really beautiful mauve, again, travel size, so I'm like, heck yeah, why not? Then I have to bring my Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Everything Nice. This is like one of my favorite liquid lipsticks ever, including the color. It's this beautiful, like, rosy nude, and it's just so complimentary on my skin tone. I gotta bring that as well. Okay, and then moving on to these, these are kind of like my bold pops of color. I wanted to bring this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream because it is um, a really hot pink, really fun for summer, and also really cute and compact. This is the shade San Paolo. And then I am bringing this ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Dahlia. It is just a really pretty, like, dark burgundy brownish purple shade. So I figured, you know, why not? You know, if I'm feeling a little crazy, this is the color I'll be wearing. And then I have these two ColourPop liquid lipsticks. These are the Ultra Satin Formulas in the shade Lost and in the shade Cozy. I wanted to bring like a deeper red and then an orange red because I am wearing a more bright reddish orange dress to that barbecue and I wanted to kind of see which colors would be best like the day of. So I'm bringing both of these. And then I'm also bringing this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade My Jam. It's just this really pretty metallic gloss and I love it, so yes. Okay, and then for for the last makeup pouch, we have this one right here, which has my eyeliners. Oh my God, this is gonna seem excessive too. My eyeliners, my brow products, and my mascara. So I'm bringing a few different mascaras. You guys know I obviously have to bring my Catrice Glam and Doll Lash Primer. I don't put mascara on without putting lash primer on. It's just kind of my thing, so I need this. I'm bringing three different formula, three different mascaras, and you might think like that's excessive, but let me explain. This is a more dry, everyday formula. This is the Koki Volume and Length mascara looks like this it's just a really pretty everyday mascara and the tube was thin enough I figured why not I'm also bringing this Marc Jacobs velvet noir mascara this is a little bit more volumizing a little bit more intense again it's travel size so it's perfect and you have that really nice thick volumizing wand it's really good stuff and it is a little bit more of a wet formula than the Koki one and then I remembered all of a sudden I was like oh my god I'm gonna be going to the beach the pool so I have to bring my only waterproof mascara I own which is the essence get big lashes in the style waterproof it is a really good formula too um, it is one of those bigger wands so it is very volumizing and intense but it does hold up in water so I was like okay I have to bring that okay and then let's move on to eyebrow products I am bringing three eyebrow products I feel like three is like my 
lucky number. Like I have to bring things in quantities of three. Anyway, so I'm bringing my favorite brow gel of all time, the NYX Ultimate Brow uh, Mascara or Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Espresso, good stuff. And then I'm bringing two different brow pencils just in case like I want two different like finishes. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown. This has a more triangle tip. So I wanted to bring it just in case. And then I just discovered this in my try on haul too that I quickly have fallen in love with. This is the e.l.f. Um, brow pencil in the shade dark brown has a really nice pointed tip different from the Anastasia one So I figured why not bring that and then I'm bringing two lip liners one of them is just the essence lip liner It's just a red lip liner in the shade red blush, you know perfect for my red shades That I'll be bringing with me or even any darker color honestly that I'm packing with me for lips and this is my favorite nude lip liner. This is the Koki Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Warm Nude. Looks like this. Very creamy, very versatile, love it. So I'm obviously bringing lash glue and this is my favorite lash glue. This is the Kiss Strip Adhesive Lash Glue with Aloe. It's formaldehyde free, latex free. It's clear, you just paint it on. And then the only eyeliner I'm bringing is the Tardis Double Take Eyeliner. This is great because it has a pencil side that's retractable and it also has a liquid side. So it's literally everything that you could need for an eyeliner. All right, and that is it for everything in this bag this is a full face and some you know extra-ness in one makeup bag and now let's move on to my brushes so i'm bringing my brushes in this really cute travel pouch by bh cosmetics it's actually where um this one brush that i ordered came in so this is really cute because it's like the perfect size and i don't just have bh cosmetics brushes in here i have a bunch of different brushes you guys know that i prefer a foundation brush so i'm not bringing a sponge so the brush i'll be bringing is the morphe M439. It's just this rounded dome foundation brush. It has quickly become probably my favorite foundation brush and it's just so versatile, so soft. I'm definitely bringing this with me. And then I'm bringing this kind of like dense powder brush. This is the just regular, I guess, powder brush. This is great because it's dense for pressed powder, but you can also use loose powder with this. It's really, really nice. This is just a brush I got from like TJ Maxx. It's really, really good. It's my favorite. And for blush, I'm bringing this, I guess it looks wonky shaped right now, but it's still really soft. This was my go-to blush brush for years. This is like a travel Morphe brush that came in a set. You can't even see the writing anymore, but I love this because stipple brushes are great for blush they apply the right amount it's so smooth so soft I definitely got to bring this for blush and then for highlight I'm bringing two brushes actually I'm bringing the BH Cosmetics V12 brush which is like a fan brush and then I am also actually sorry this is I'm bringing the BH Cosmetics V14 brush which is a fan brush as well as the BH Cosmetics number no. four brush which is like that tapered denser um, highlighting brush that would be good to really pack on the highlight even more I'm bringing this like concealer brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number no. five brush. I love using this brush to blend out under eye concealer and concealer around my face. It's really, really good and really soft. Bringing two bronzer brushes. This one is the Wet n Wild just powder brush. It's really soft and really malleable, perfect for bronzer, as well as the Juvia's Place tapered brush, which is longer than this one, which I use to set underneath the eyes that I absolutely love. So those are all my face brushes and these are the eye brushes that I'll be bringing. I have to have my crease brushes. These are all by Morphe. This is the M504, the E27, and the M573. This is great for just like all over the crease. Very easy, just buff out product. This is a little bit more precise, but I kind of use it in the same way. And then this is more for like detailed buffing out shadow in the crease. I love it. And then I'm also bringing this ColourPop Taper Blending Brush. Sorry, it still has my eyeshadow on it because I haven't cleaned it yet. But this is great for like detailed blending work. It's really soft and malleable, but it's great to just kind of apply that outer V shade. And then I'm bringing this Beach Cosmetics Number no. 8 brush. This is like a flat synthetic packing brush. Perfect for, you know, shades all over the lid. Good stuff. And then that's kind of how I feel about this Morphe B84. This is a natural haired one. It's a little bit denser and not as like thin as this one. So it's good for a more subtle all over lid color. I love it. And then I'm bringing these two for the lower lash line and inner corner. This is the Essence Smoky Eyes Brush. Perfect for smudging out lower lash shades. And then this is the Wet n Wild, I guess just like smudger brush. It's just like a flat like eyeliner brush that I think would be perfect 
for eyeliner and that stuff. So yes, really good. Okay, everyone, and that is it for my guide to my travel bag, how I pack it. So you can see I have everything pretty organized in here. I love this, and this is everything that I need for a full face and then some. I have all my brushes, all of my foundations, powders, eyeshadows, everything that I need for my week in LA. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and hopefully we will see you in our next video. Bye.